So today we're playing with the spin down d4. Now if you don't know what this item does, it can be a little confusing at first, but it will make sense in about two seconds. It's real simple, all it is is basically instead of spinning down stuff on active pedestals, you spin down stuff when it's in your inventory, right? Because d4 affects your own inventory. And immediately now it makes more sense, right? So I gave this, uh, this dice a little bit of thought and I thought to myself, well hold on, this would be sick, right? Because there's a ton of strategy here. I can't just find a blood bag and get Stone. I would have to pick up the blood bag, then spin it down. But if I wanted to spin down in the future, then I would lose brimstone. There's some strats here. So I was curious to kind of play with it a little bit. We have a secret room here. It just gave us uh, a lot of money. See, this is the thing. I can't spin this down. I, I, I genuinely can't. If I press spacebar here, nothing happens. Nor can I spin the uh, D6 that we left behind on the starting room when we picked up spin down D4, you know. Usually D6 turns straight into the parasite, but not today. <laughs> So how do I want to go about this, right? Because there's two main strategies that are flickering in my head. One is probably the best way you can play. The second one is, can you come out of the corner, please? The second one is most definitely probably worse of a way, and I might die, but it sounds way cooler. I could either pick up everything and not spin myself down uh, until way later when I need to spin down, right? So like, let's say I stack a bunch of, a bunch of blood bags, and on the chest, I just get like seven brimstones. Or I could... I can just press spacebar. <laughs> I I might do that. We'll see. Pressing spacebar every chance I get just sounds like a lot more of a hilarious adventure. This basement is massive. Look at the market value. What's in here? Juicy sack. Should I uh, try spinning this down? Actually, let's wait until we get the boss room, right? Watch the boss just straight up drop toothpicks. I, I'll scream. I'll, I'll, I'll do it. I didn't go to the curse room, did I? Oh, well, it's, there's a reason I didn't. Little Horn, you're so silly, thinking you're gonna hit me. Oh, I was so expecting a toothpick, so I'm not even gonna lie. All right, let's do it. Boom, we actually get Dry Baby and uh, more HP. Dross Uno achieved, and I need to find the treasure room immediately before I get barrel down by these poops. I'm, I'm having, unironically, what might be the most stereotypical Dross experience right now. I don't know how to explain it, but you know what I mean when I say that. How about the shop? Let's assess the situation. My lord, Jesus Christ. <laughs> well, how about I diplopia the treasure room? Thanks, try baby. What's in here? Oh, wow. That's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's take Locust of Pestilence and diplopia something. Okay, I got our increased deal chance for I'm blowing up that dude. Let's take our diplopia here. Maybe we'll get something good. We want to use it in the devil or the boss room, aka I'm looking at you, toothpicks. This is a certified fight blob with base damage and tears moment. That's actually not even bad. I'll probably just upload you that. <laughs> we got one last thing to check and it's right in here. Uh, could be, wow, a beautiful item. I don't know what that spins down into, but I know it's nothing good, right? Since I have the really giga ones memorized, uh, I know Guppy's eye is probably close to something good, but I'm just gonna take it because it's such a good item. And then we take this, and then just for fun, we'll spin down the treasure room. And if I don't like what it spins down into, we'll take the blind. So what are you? Oh my god, I forgot to spin down my entire- What am I- I forgot how spin down work! <laughs> I just- I, I, I just got gaslit! I thought it was completely different. Okay, we're doing the lucky foot. I guess I've just never worked with that kind of mechanic before. That's- It just confused my brain. Well, we'll take our double tears up, and then we can go. Secret room from the I can see forever is pretty exciting here. Hold on. Plays to be made. We ended up getting cracked orb. I know the HP is not near anything good, so I'll take the orb. Because this is a higher likelihood that if I spin down multiple times, it'll probably go to a, a repentance item, right? And here we got Mongo, baby. Uh, I'll take this instead. Wafer! It's gonna suck saying goodbye to it, but it's, you know, things need to be done. But that is absurdly good to find. I might want to see if I can find the sack room first before spinning myself down. You know, we have to be responsible with our spin downs here. We can't just make willy-nilly plays. I'm, I'm better than that. I'm a grown human being and I can make adult decisions. Hey, look, it's Mega. Funny that we will uh, eventually come across two of almost every single item, considering I diplopiaed Binky. <laughs> so right now I'm rocking the double milk play, a big one. I I just got baited. <laughs> Ow! They 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 assumed that I would. F they I fell for it. I actually fell for it. I walked into the wall, and then they said ha ha, and then they closed it right on my face. I got parasite. That's pretty sick. How about we go see if we spawn the double this time, and by see, I mean it. I just need to not get hit, which should be a lot easier with this build. I'll take whatever devil deal I can get. I just want to get as many items as possible. Oh! Oh my lord, that's literally sacred heart. 
Why are you costing money? What? Excuse me? I have pound of flesh? Okay, wait. Here's something I need to know. If I, uh, if I spin myself down right now, do these start taking hearts? Because I don't have pound of flesh anymore. Hey, look. I, uh, actually learned something. I'll take this, and then we'll take this. And then we will come back. I know that's Sacred Heart. Actually, it's Sacred Heart the moment I pick it up. I keep thinking like, oh, I'm going to spin it down and then pick it up. That's not how this works. You take it, you get Sacred Heart, and then you say goodbye to it later when it eventually leaves. I was about the shop. Um, I only care about passives, don't I? Yeah, no, we'll go. You guys ready? I'm about to have Sacred Heart for like the next six rooms. <laughs> but those six rooms, they will be glorious. Yeah! Wait, well, imagine if I die. <laughs> Wait, don't do that. Min Min Destruction. Consolation prize. Actually gives me a fire rate up. We'll take it and then we'll move on. We are rocking the double glitter bombs. We are pretty and proud. Ash Pit Extra Large? Oh no. That's like the worst thing. <laughs> That's like threat level really bad. What? Huh? Wait, what? I barely- I, I was- I was trying to do jokes! I was- I had a bunch of jokes lined up in my head. You put the boss in my face already. Alright, well. Uh, this one's really good, actually, right? We can take that. This- this has a lot of value for us. Because we may be able to just spawn a bunch of pedestals and be like, Oh, those don't spin down into anything good. We roll them, and then, you know, all of a sudden I find the, the bar of soap. Gideon is no match versus Sacred Heart. In terms of universal power scaling, I think he outranks him. I think it depends on if it's a hot day or not, though. Gideon done. Wire code obtained. Wire code's cool, right? Like, it's okay, but eh, I, I could go for more. I want to get a couple more charges before I uh, defeat the last boss, right? In case I spawn a deal here. Or, uh, wait a second, no. I, I, how many times am I going to have to remind myself? I don't need to do that. Who cares if I have a roll when I hit the devil? All that matters is I just have the roll and then I press spacebar. Clutch moment? Uh-oh. Clutch has found himself currently in a clutch or kick situation. Let's see what he does. Oh, and he fumbles his flashbang, allowing him to get picked off. What a complete tragedy. All right, I'm just taking these and I'm pressing space. Boom. Wait, hold on. I don't have one yet. One more. It's gonna suck, but I'm just gonna straight up do it. Boom. Missing no. Lord almighty. Get this off of my screen right now. <laughs> we also have Revelation, which is sick. I actually don't know what turned into Revelation, which is interesting. I, I, I'm i surprised I don't have that memorized. More items for the engine. Gimme gimme. Blood bombs. I have a feeling this will be good when I spin it down enough, so I'm just gonna take it. 120 volt would have also been good. I was mainly just uh, basing it off of it's, is it a repentance added item or not? And you know, both are. Again, Lost Soul. Hey, I kind of want to go down to the next floor with you. Maybe you can nab me an extra item as well. I'll take options. That's cool. And I'll dane it a bit. So something of note while I donate here and Strawman walks into a wall is the fact that I have Strawman. And I know that sounds obvious, but Strawman can actually be deleted. If Strawman dies while he has any items or just in general, not only do you lose all the items you funneled into Strawman, you lose Strawman as an item. And this is something we want to very heavily avoid because that just means one less item in the engine, in the tank, ready to spin down. And I will not permit that. We still have to find the other treasure room and I- wow, that is a essence of fever. Gimme gimme. I think I'm going to try and keep Lasso alive and then spin down on the next floor as soon as possible. I'll save my spin- well, he's gonna die actually. Oh my lord! Did, did anyone else see how close that was? That was just me? Ultra secret room? Oh my, hello! You're useless, dang it. Lost Soul should have died right then and there. 100%. Is it really worth Lost Soul's life for one singular treasure room? But of course. <laughs> A hundred percent. Like, let's be real here. Come on. And it's there. And I don't really want to explore anything else just because I might lose Lost Souls. So let's just take this and leave. Boom. Uh, sure. This one. Oh, oh my little heart. I can't take that. Don't do that to me. <laughs> it's fine. You know what? We have so many repentance items. We'll probably just spin down into it anyway. Just, just forget about it for now. Sacred Heart. A second time. Oh, wow. That's actually really good. Thank you. Doesn't this turn into Godhead? Wait, <laughs> what? Okay, thank you. That, you know what? I say Lossal gave me Godhead just then. I think we can all agree, right? Like, let's be real here. Lossal just dropped Godhead. Of, like, that's what he did. I could have gone double Godhead, I guess, with Essence of Keeper, but I, that would have done nothing for me. This is actually a TP on the left. What, what is this? It's a demon. Ooh, quite devilish. 
Well, I'm gonna take the demon baby because you cost less overall, technically. I was expecting that to be conjoined because it says three of three, but maybe I'm incorrect, my bad. I guess I do only have two babies. And I'm given a uh, bookworm progress. Yeah, you know, that's, that's okay. We can also have a little baby, uh, an extra one for the floor. We get rotten, dude. How you doing? Headless, actually. All right, well, it's not the most powerful run, but we do have Godhead, which is helping out. That Lost Soul play was fat. We also have Knockout Drops, which is actually doing a lot more for me than I was expecting. But none of this matters because I'm about to press Spacebar again. Now I'm looking at my inventory and I don't see anything that's screaming, this is a good spin down. So I'm not too excited. We got Strawman again, somehow? What? Soy, what is this? What? Why is this the most broken one? Why is everything freezing? Oh, I had Freezer Baby. Oh no, Freezer Baby just went hard, I guess. I, wow, okay. Alright, so this run isn't particularly awful, but it's not the best either. It's about as mid as of a run as you can get, to be honest with you. And I can work with mid. I also like this because it's a little bit of a challenge for me, right? I don't know what's poisoning, but I, I just keep it up. <laughs> just keep doing it. Ah, it's the Locust. The Locust is going crazy. These chair effects are going crazy. I just need one more room. Now, once again, I'm looking at my rolls and I know in my heart none of these are good. So I'm just gonna hope that eventually it turns into a good spin down. I should have taken the uh, Leprosy there, but I didn't realize I had Binge Eater. Oh well. Boom. Ludo! Uh oh. Oh no. I got Ludo. And Ludo with two damage. Okay, listen, it's not over. Let's let's see how it, it's, it's a wonderful build. Don't let anyone tell you you can't run Ludo. Look at this. It's the best one I've ever had. I think it's mainly because of Backstabber. Oh, it's at the high tier rate too. Plus Star of Bethlehem. Yeah, don't don't let anyone tell you otherwise. I'm about to melt this boss faster than any build we've actually had. Plus a free uh, heart container here. That's nice. I'll pay out this guy as well while I wait for Star to go into the boss room. No, you maniac! I <laughs> gave me a cracked crown. Thank you. All right, so check this out. Oh my God, it's the oh, it's mom. I didn't know it was mom. Give me the negative. Uh, I'll take this. Whatever. This is actually conjoined now, right? Nope. I guess I had it. I I just got destroyed. That's okay. Listen, this is now a challenge run, right? That's kind of why I wanted to try this thing, right? Because it's not really just like haha win. It it really is like I don't think it's actually the best item in the world. I think it's uh not too great actually. There are situations obviously where it breaks, but. It's mainly the idea that you'd probably just use it once, get Sacred Heart, and never use it again. So, oh! I got Magic Mushroom! So I think a run where you just use it over and over again, constantly switching your build, but there's a bit of strategy to it, because you know what you're rolling into, is uh, some of the most fun I've actually had with a dice. Now, unfortunately, I don't think rolling into active items does anything. Otherwise, that bot fly right there, oh, that would be just like I'd be going straight to the death certificate room. That is not how it works. I have just been blessed. Excuse me, don't ruin this for me, Samson's Chains. You're blowing my cover. I also got a secret room. Is today lucky day number 753? Lucky numbers win the lottery? Hello? I'm blowing you guys up. What? Goodbye. All right, okay, well, that was highly unexpected. Let's just go. Oh, I, I, let me take the gold heart. This may very well be one of our strongest builds. I think the Ludo one was a bit better, but this one's obviously just normal magic mushroom giga tears, so nothing to scoff at, right? We now... Oh! If you don't know what this rolls into, you're about to crap yourself. Boom, watch this. It turns into... I, I doubted myself for a second, I'm not even gonna lie. I looked and I didn't see it, but then I saw it, so it's okay. Yeah, it turns in the C-section. We also have Cricket's body on the exact same build. In fact, we have a TP right to the hush floor, card reading out of nowhere, and we're uh, we're under 30 minutes. We can beat hush. I'm, I'm gaining charges. Oh, I have 4.5, I think, just randomly during this specific build. Uh, yeah, honestly, I'm, I'm having a lot of fun. Let's go with it. This one's obviously the most powerful, right? Fruitcake, uh, what is that? Little- Oh no, it's okay. Jesus Christ, my heart. I can't even speak. This is a good run is what I'm trying to say. Whatever, let's just take this. Uh, just because it will heal me and that's important. And then glitter bombs or leech. I'll take leech, hey, how you doing? Uh, nothing here screams too interesting, but these are passives and that is important, right? Open all of these, we get a school bag? 
Yeah, that's interesting. I don't think that helps me whatsoever, right? Because I don't have any uh, actives laying around, but it's good to have. Now, falling in line with my rule set. <sighs> Unfortunately, it is just a challenge. We get a little bit of breathing room, right? With this god build that we landed. But the moment we have it, I just got to press it. What do we have? Oh, God. Hey, it's Trisagon. It's not bad. Wait a second. This isn't bad, right? Trisagon. Red Stew does not proc if you roll into it, so we don't have the Red Stew buff. Daddy Longlegs actually is very interesting that we have that, because that turns into Polyphemus on next roll. But the next roll will not be coming for a while, because it does seem like we don't have 4.5 volt anymore. We also have, uh, wait, memory card. Let me go back to the shop after this fight is done. Whoa. I don't know how I cursed the Tower of Brimstone Bombs. That was a cool slowdown. What? This is the most bullets I've ever seen. I'm over here now? Okay. Hi. This, why did this turn into quite literally the most chaotic hush fight I've ever been a part of? Is it over? Get back up here, dude. You gotta die. Thank you. There's so much blood on the ground. Get me out of here. Let's check the member card shop. I know I spent a bit of money, but we have 40 cents. Oh, uh, yeah. We have 40 cents, right? Roll it. I don't think this is anything too crazy. Four of three conjoined. I'm the most conjoined man you've ever seen in your life. I'll take it because it's cheap. I actually got conjoined. I'm sorry, what? I just, my mind got blown. You, you did what now? Uh, I'm not saying anything good. Final roll. Job raker trinket. Uh, that's okay. So now I have conjoined? Oh, okay. No, I, I was making a joke, but you, you actually, you helped me complete it. So thank you. Look at that giant ball on the left. Oh, hi. What? Since when do you do that? <laughs> Dude, Isaac's Tomb literally never, ever, ever pays out with items for me. That was a pleasant surprise. It turned out to be Little Delirium, which was quite the disgusting creature to find. But at least it happened. I still got a couple more spin downs in me. It's not over. What could we turn into? I like the fact that you could really know. If you, if you had enough skill, you would really know everything that you're about to get. There's the poly I mentioned. We got Birthright, which is insane to me. We got the stupidest run ever. What? What is this? I'm sorry. This is... <laughs> this This might just be the most, like, uh, bozo sprite in combo I've ever seen. I've never seen a more embarrassing sprite for Isaac. I hate this. What? I look like an idiot. Even the tears that I'm shooting look wrong. I, and I'm slow. I'm... I'm what, is, what is my speed? Like, two? <laughs> I'm way too damn slow. It's because I've gone and combined Jupiter with Taurus. My favorite synergy in the world. Oh, I'm gaining speed. I'm getting real mad. Yeah, too bad the fight's over. What is my speed? It's unironically 0.2. This is the most embarrassing Isaac run I've ever had in my life. I'm not even kidding. We gotta get out of here. First of all, what are all of these? Damn oh, oh my lord. How about this? We'll do this, uh, and then an item that I randomly find, I will turn it gold. But Damocles is the most fun thing there, so I'm doing that. There's no way I'm risking proccing Damocles on the mushrooms immediately after using Damocles. Also, my speed is so low that I'm gonna proc Damocles. And now I'm about to die the most pathetic death I've ever seen in any Isaac run. If I somehow manage to die in the next three seconds before I can roll Damocles away, I, I might just quit YouTube. That'll be it for me. I've, I would I would die. Please let me out. Okay, so he's gone. Thank you. Crown of Light. Epic. F Jesus! What a god run. Also, what did we have? The mind? No, we just have treasure map and compass combined. Hey, Malacria as well. This one's, this one's the god build we were kind of waiting for, I guess. Oh yeah, that is, that's big. This was honestly a really fun and strategic way and I'd like to see a, just a bunch of different builds. I had a lot of fun here. I'm sorry, don't crash please? What are you doing, Azazel's Rage? You don't just do that to a run and scare someone. We have Twisted Pear. Whoa, what a cool looking run. What is this? Wait, this looks sick. What? I can't just be the only one thinking this looks uh, undeniably epic, right? A barrage of rocks at a time. That's, I, I think that's sick. Why is like re-rolling with the spin down D4 probably the most, whoop, never mind. It's not fun at all. I hate this game. Like really though, it, it feels like re-rolling with spin down D4 is more fun than just regular D4. Just because I, I have a bit of a say in what's going to happen, right? In fact, I think I'm about to get two Crown of Lights. Because Deep Pockets goes into Crown of Light, right? See, that's what I'm saying. I, I now, I have that ability to call it out. That's sick. 
Ow, just kidding. We'll never get Crown of Light if I keep doing that. God damn it. I'm actually gonna die. All right. How about we just get one more roll in and- Ah! How about we just get one more roll in and we leave, right? Like, it's gonna be real simple. We aren't gonna die pathetically. Please. All right. We got conjoined. We got Dr. Fetus. I'm gonna die. What is- what is that run? What did you just give me? Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Take the soul heart and and we just go. Oh God, what is this? Some things aren't allowed, you know? And, and, and this run is one of them. It's so over, hold on. No, please don't do this to me. It's like I just land a, a mine. I, I just plant down a mine. There's nothing I do. I just move around and wherever I press something, there's mines that I, I can't shoot. What is this negative range Dr. Fetus that I'm running? This is not okay. I didn't sign up for this. Oh my lord. Do I really think I can do this? The truthful answer is no. <laughs> the legendary answer would be yes, and I'm confident, and I'm about to do it. So, let's just go for it. Double crown of light to the rescue, right? Boom, big plays. I mean, in theory, I kill lamb fast enough that they can't do anything. Oh my god. Ah! I need to get closer. Lamb- uh, Oh my god, I got, I got it! It's over! It's gonna be in! GG!